I want to take a few moments, a uh, few meaning about 30 to 40 minutes, <laughs> uh, just talking to us about enforcing victory. We understand that we are in, a sp- in spiritual conflict, but there is a very important truth that you and I need to be established in, and that is the enemy has already been defeated. Satan's primary way, his game plan, number one strategy is to play mind games. You recognize it's a wrong thought, it contradicts the word, it's not pleasing to God, get rid of it. Don't let it even settle in your thinking. Remember that Satan, let's say it out together once again, so that just in case you missed it the first time, go. Satan and all his demons have been crushed expelled, condemned, disarmed, and destroyed. That's the way you fight. You know this enemy really cannot do much. He's a pretender. He pretends to be like a roaring lion. You know what Jesus Christ has done to him. You know that Jesus has crushed him, expelled him, condemned him, disarmed him, and destroyed him. And so from that mindset, from that point of view, you say, I resist those things. You're enforcing the victory that Jesus Christ has obtained for you already. You're enforcing that victory in your life. So whether it's in your marriage, you see the enemy coming to do things, enforce victory. Say, no devil, this is not the place. The house of the righteous will stand. God blesses the house of the righteous. In the house of the righteous, there is the voice of rejoicing and salvation. If it's concerning your children, speak the word. So they may be acting up now, but no, you speak the word. It's the devil, you will not have my children. God said in his word, he pours out his spirit upon my seed, his blessing upon my offspring. God said that my children would be mighty on the earth. So you speak that word over your children. Don't let him have his way when it comes to your children. When it comes to your finances, you speak the word. You say, God blesses all the work of my hands. God gives me the power to get wealth. And say, devil, you will not interfere in my finances. When it comes to your workplace, same thing. When you go to work tomorrow morning, you go to work saying, I am highly favored by God. It's like, devil, you will not cause confusion in my workplace. You take authority. Now, when you see things happening... Uh, in your relationships or in in your workplace and and you know there are wrong things happening, you take authority, you speak to that situation. You say, in the name of Jesus, I bind that confusion, I bind that hostility, I bind that animosity. You're not dealing with people because you can't change people's will, but you're dealing with the forces that instigate their behavior. Are you understanding? We're not talking about witchcraft. We can't manipulate people's will. That's their choice. But you can deal with the power that's, in, that's uh, instigating them, that's influencing them. So that's why you, you deal with those things. Are you understanding? And you've got the right. You've got to enforce victory. Don't sit down and take it and say, oh, no, I can't, I haven't, I can't do anything about it. God says, I've given you the weapons. You destroy those strongholds. You pull down those things. You take every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. You enforce the victory that Christ has obtained for you. That's who we are as believers. Jesus has finished the work. Now it's your turn to enforce the victory in your life and in the lives of those who come to you for help.